Now, to to um, <clears throat> let me explain some of the technology behind it. So, first of all, in order to capture the human face, our skin is a living thing. Light penetrates through our outer layers, goes into the skin, bounces around inside, and then scatters, and then comes out, picking up some of the tone of the color of your blood. And as a result, when you look at it, um, it looks alive. Of course, there's a lot of pores. Um, your eyes are the windows to the soul. And so obviously the eyes have to look alive. In this particular case, we use a technology called ray tracing to ray trace the eyes. That's why the eye crystal looks like it's, looks like it's alive. And of course, all of the shadows are being rendered so beautifully. You see no triangles, no faceting whatsoever. Triangles have disappeared. The lighting system is so sophisticated, we can pick up the little sheen of the oil of his face. Now let's change, uh, let's, I, I love the soft shadows underneath the lips. I mean, it's, it's so exquisitely rendered. Photorealistic. Okay, let's, let's um, Lucas, walk us through some of this stuff. You, you, you do some talking here. Let me right. spare a few seconds. Sure, so yeah, um, this is Digital Ira, and uh, it's a data set from our friends at USC. And if you guys have been watching uh, previous demos, you've actually seen that we've shown it on a GTX Titan, the same data set. So it's pretty cool this works on a, on a K1. Uh, yeah, and as Jensen said, the subsurface scattering um, in the you know the light going through the ears, also you know the light from the, uh, as the, the shadow lands behind his nose. You can see if you turn it off, um, you can just see that like his uh, his skin just kind of looks like plaster or something. It doesn't doesn't have the right effect. And so that's something that's you know it's quite computationally expensive and something that using Tegra K1 is possible on mobile finally.